Leads are crucial in the sales process. One way to make sure that most of your leads turn into sales is to simplify the lead management process by setting up the proper lead card view. You want to know how? Stay tuned. Hi there, I'm Simon from Como. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In one of our tutorials, we've already talked about lead cards in Como. If you haven't seen it, pause this video and watch the tutorial on the lead cards first. You can find it here. Lead Card View is used to present summarized lead card data, allowing managers to drill down into every lead in the sales pipeline. In this video, we'll teach you how to change your pipeline from this to that. So let's get started. Okay, we're starting with the sales pipeline, where all the active leads are located. Each lead has the contact name, company name, lead title, and the avatar displayed by default, but we can customize it. Let's say I'd like the responsible manager, the sale account, the lead creation date, and the lead's phone number to be indicated here. Because why not? Let me show you how to make this happen. To get the ball rolling, press on the ellipsis icon and select the card view. There you go, the settings window for the lead card view has just opened. Here, you will find a list of settings you can apply for card view in the pipeline. To add a new field, you can choose one of the values from the lead, company, or contact categories, same as the lead card. But keep in mind that a maximum of seven fields can be displayed. And just to clarify, you can only customize the card view if you are the account administrator or a user with editing rights in the leads section. Okay, now let's proceed to the setup field, shall we? The first field we see here is the contact name. There is no doubt that it's important, so let's keep that there. The following field in the lead card setting window is the company name. In our case, displaying the contact phone number is more important, so we'll replace the company name with that. In this field, the value is empty. So let's say I'd like the responsible user to be shown in the pipeline. To do that, I am simply choosing the responsible user field. Next, by default, comes the lead title. Now, in my opinion, we should just leave that there. However, it's up to you if you want to replace it with another value or relocate it. All right, now we have an empty field. For this one, I'm going to choose one of the custom fields I previously created, required services. Here we go. Then let's specify the field below as the sales value so that we can track the amount live. Finally, let's pick the last field with an empty value. I think it would be pretty helpful to display the date of lead creation. What do you think? All right, and now we are done. By the way, when you're here, you can also apply the setup to all the pipelines or set view mode for each of them, display the contacts avatar and display the last message from the contact. So I'm going to apply the settings for all the pipelines and then click save. That's it for today, folks. Now you know how to save time on searching and scrolling. Thanks to the lead card view customization feature, the important details can be displayed in the sales pipeline so that you don't miss anything. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up as this helps our algorithm. Consider subscribing to our channel as well. And don't forget to click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on our new videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.